Hey everyone, um, this is a not quite a tutorial, more of a proof of concept for a 2x2 two two method I've come up with called the GEG method. This is based off domino reduction corners and um, it's quite good and is very move optimal. I mean, like it's not move optimal on every scramble, but it gets very close. So the idea is that you memorize every single two by two state, but you ignore duplicates that can be reached, that you can like reach each other by, um, by just doing half turns on the normal and inverse. So what this means is a solve will look like some half turns, an alg, and then some more half turns. And this method has 466 algorithms. So this is a domino reduction, which is an FMC method. And in domino reduction, um, we have just a bunch of different types of corners and um, there's a label for each corner. So there are 11, 11 different, what is called subsets of corners. Um, and you can just tell by doing just a little bit of tracing, a little bit of inferring, and you can tell what subset the corners are in. So the idea is that um, any two by two state can be represented as, oh, and very important thing, doing half turns does not impact the subset that the corners are in. And um, the idea behind this method is that any two by two scramble can be represented as a subset and then some corner twists. So this is random two by two scramble. I think it's, it's solvable anyways. Um, so what you would do pretend this is a two by two, just the corners, you would uh, trace, um, you would trace what subset it is. And you would have for each subset, you would memorize like every single possible pattern of corner twists that goes with that subset. And then you would memorize an alg for that, like, uh, for that case. And there, there are shockingly few cases. I mean, it's a lot of cases, but it's, um, only 466 and the first few subsets are very very few cases um, i have a google sheet that i'll link in the description with um, the first subset which is geg0 which is the easiest to to recognize and it's um yeah it's, it's the easiest to recognize and it only has like i think it's like 18 or 18 or so algs so um i'll be doing some example solves just with that subset Here's the first example solve. Scrambles are in the description. So the first thing you want to do is check the bad the bad corners on each axis. So one, two, three, four, five on this axis. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five on this axis, and one, two, three, four, five on this axis. Um, so. Next, you so this is the five bad, five bad, five bad case, which the name isn't particularly creative, but um, it's it's where you have five bad corners on each axis. And for this case, what you want to do is you want to set up um, something like this, where you have three opposite on one face and then a corner facing down, and you want a yellow or you want like a yellow slash white bar kind of opposite like here. So you can just do that with a U2 on this scramble. And then um, here's the alg. I'm reading off the screen because I haven't drilled it or memorized it yet. There it is. And so U2. So there, there's, the, there's the first solve. On to the next one. Here's the next example solve. So this is the um, the UR case. So that's just how you can solve the corners. And for this case, you want to hold it on an axis with six bad corners. So this, and then you want to, um, it's difficult looking through the camera. Um, there's two ways to set this up. One of them is correct and one of them is not correct. So he here's the correct one. So you want to take, so here are the six bad corners, which means two good corners, 
or and there, there are these two orange corners so you want to pair them you want to uh, make a sort of T shape with the uh, opposite corners so F2 R2 um, and then the alg which actually you can cancel into is that and you prime and that's the whole solve now on to the last example solve So this case is the three bad corners case. So one, two, three on this UD axis. And um, this case is, um, well, there are two three bad corner cases, but this one is the good one. Um, this one is just R2 and then um, anti soon. So you can cancel into that with R prime U2, R prime U prime, and then insert, and then you can actually cancel into doing R2, U2, R2, F2 to finish the cube, and there's the last solve. Uh, so that's the gist of this method. Um, I want to give a very big thank you to Jules Portners. I'm not sorry, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but um, uh, to Jules Portners, um, he, uh, I, I was the one, I proposed this method in the 2x2 two two Discord, and uh, Jules was the one who wrote the code to um, to generate all the possible states, which was probably very difficult because there are so many really strange like mirror cases and just things like that that are just difficult um, that are difficult to to like figure out. So thank you so much to Jules, um, <clears throat> and thanks to him we have this giant text file in the description, which is uh, linked in the description, which contains an alg for every single possible state um, sorted into uh, how many quarter turns they require. So here's um, uh, all the all the example solves I just showed were um, from this subset GEG0, although there are 11 subsets and generally the further you go down the list the more algs each of these subsets has um, and it's 466 algs total which I think is very doable and is, is probably worth it like compared to how good this method is i can especially see this being a good method for like terrible no bar scrambles where you're struggling to find stuff you'll you can with this method you can find a solution that you definitely can just sub 1.5 and just like move on with your day and go on to the next solve um but yeah uh, i think the biggest challenge with this method is recognition because it's not easy you have to uh, really make use of that fif those 15 seconds of inspection time to trace what subset it is and then figure out like what case it is beyond that. It's a, it's a lot of, of tracing, especially when you get into, um, into uh, like these, these subsets right here. These ones are really, really difficult to trace because um, you, if you know where the, the bad corners are, that doesn't tell you everything about them. Um, what case it is. You have to trace additional parodies on top of it, um, which I think can, it can be done in 15 seconds, but it's going to take a lot of practice, kind of like kind of like square one CSP. Um, but yeah, I am not going to learn this method because it is too many algs, but if someone else wants to learn it, um, that would be really, really cool. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Um, Bye-bye. Also, one more note. Um, if anyone feels inspired to learn this method but doesn't know domino reduction corners i'm going to link some resources in the, in the description i'm going to link um the uh, rodney kinney's hyper parody tutorial as well as the, the hitchhiker's guide to htr document rodney kinney's hyper parody tutorial will uh teach you how to recognize subsets and uh the Hitchhiker's Guide to HTR, there's a section in there about the naming scheme that this uses. So you'll learn like like these names, like 2C3, 0C4, 2C4. Um, these subset names are all categorized in the Hitchhiker's Guide to HTR document. So that's, um, if, if you feel inspired to learn this method, that is where you should start by learning domino reduction corners in those two uh, resources.